Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll be reviewing my Cartier Love necklace that I purchased over four years ago and it's actually my first Cartier item in my collection. In this video I'll be talking about pros and cons and how I store it. I hope that you will like this video and will find it interesting. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Do consider subscribing to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it and follow me on my Instagram account which is the same as my YouTube account black and gold style. Please consider checking out my other playlists, I posted quite a few videos about Cartier, Van Cleef & Arpels, Bulgari, Rolex, luxury tips and mistakes. Dior, jewelry, weekly vlogs, style and fashion, Chanel bags, luxury shopping vlogs, beauty products, and travel videos. Love Collection was actually created in 1970s in New York and it's such an iconic collection. This necklace is 18K white gold and it has three brilliant cut diamonds and the inner diameters are 16 millimeters and when it comes to chain length it's 420 millimeters. I love the iconic screw design and when I was purchasing this necklace I chose it with three diamonds and with three screws even though there was another one that has six diamonds. I feel like the screw design is so special and so recognizable. I first discovered it for myself via Love Bangle, but I was not sure if I could wear a bangle like that 24-7, so I decided to start with the necklace. And back in the day, I was so obsessed with white gold. Back then, I would only purchase items in white gold. I would not even consider anything in yellow gold. But look at me now. <laughs> things have changed but I still love this necklace and I still wear it. I typically pair it with some of my clothes that has decorations in silver or with my other jewelry. I also wear it with my bags that have silver hardware. This necklace comes in white gold like this one, in pink gold and in yellow gold. You can turn it around and wear it from the other side. It says love on it. It's quite nice, but since the other side has diamonds, I prefer to turn it the other way. When it comes to storage, I prefer to keep it in the jewelry box. I can't fit in two original boxes that it came with, so I have to keep it in this travel pouch. However, when I purchased the necklace, I was not given anything. This one is from one of my bracelets. This design and this size is actually my most favorite from Cartier and actually other brands as well. I quite like the substantial necklaces and this one is just perfect. I'm actually currently considering to add the same necklace in yellow gold with diamonds. I just like this size and it's so flattering and it goes with so many of my outfits. It looks amazing when styled with dresses, sweaters, t-shirts, but my most favorite look is to style it with a white t-shirt, pair of jeans and a blazer. I really love that look a lot and I typically wear small studs as well. I'm also considering to add another pair of earrings from Van Cleef & Arpels. I feel like they will look amazing with the necklace. Also, before the pandemic, I used to wear it to the office quite often. It's not flashy, it's very elegant and I usually get a lot of compliments whenever I wear it. I usually get questions about the weight and I have to say that this necklace is not heavy. It feels okay, it takes time to get used to it because it's not that tiny. Actually I don't even feel it, I think I probably feel it for about one minute on my neck and then I don't even feel it at all, it's very comfortable. 
all Cartier white gold items that have diamonds usually have a rhodium plating and that's why they are so shiny and that's what I like about it. In the past two years Cartier had two price increases and the amount has increased by so much so I think it will continue to go up in the future and if you decide to sell it one day you can recover the money of course depends on the condition of the item if it's not completely destroyed and actually looks okay I have to say whenever I buy jewelry or bags I never consider to sell the item but it's nice to have a choice because we do fall out of love with things and we don't want to be stuck with the item that is not worth anything at all and you can't recover what you paid for it. However, to manage your expectations, the price goes up over time. So if you get the item and decide to sell it in, let's say, a couple of months, you will only lose the money. It's the best to wait for the price increases and that's actually how you can recover the cost. I was trying to think about cons of this necklace and I have to say <laughs> it wasn't easy to come up with some. Because I love to wear my jewelry quite often and I'm really particular about the scratches and this necklace has some micro scratches, really tiny ones, but I have to say I've been wearing it for four years quite often, so these things are bound to happen. Any jewelry with shiny surface except the earrings will definitely have them over time. I never send it for polishing. I think if I bring it to Cartier, they can clean it for me and perhaps remove some of this. But let's say if in the future I scratch it a lot and I would have to send it for deep polishing. And since it already has a rhodium plating, I have an option to top up a little bit and add another layer. And I think this is something that I would do in the future. I'm really particular about keeping my jewelry looking like new for as long as possible. I really wish that there was a fabric that can help to remove the scratches at home, especially from rhodium plated surfaces. But unfortunately, I don't know about anything. And if you do, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you are considering getting this necklace in yellow gold, I will link down the Jules Rouge cloth that I purchased online. I have been using it for one and a half years to remove the scratches from my Cartier Love bracelet and from my other items as well. It helps to keep my jewelry looking like new and even Cartier staff is so surprised that my jewelry is over two and a half years old which is great. I really hope one day to find the same kind of alternative for white gold. It would be just fantastic. Anyways, guys, this is it. I hope that you liked this video and found it interesting. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Do consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Please feel free to check out my Cartier playlist. I posted quite a few shopping vlogs, unboxings, reviews and comparisons. And please also check out my Instagram account, which is the same as my YouTube account, Black and Gold Style. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!